Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. Today we are looking at these lights. They are the Intellitech Pocket Cannon Mini. So I've reviewed a couple of the Intellitech products before. I've reviewed the LC120 light cloth. I've also checked out their fast frames, but they have a whole range of lights called the Light Cannon. Um, they did a Light Cannon, a Light Cannon Pro, a Pocket Light Cannon, and these guys are the smallest one they've made, which is the Pocket Cannon Mini. They are tiny. They are sort of the size of your fist. They are a LED Fresnel chip on board light that has a really high uh, CRI output um, and runs off Sony LP battery system. As you can see, even though these lights are really small and very portable, which we'll get to later, you're able to do a very nice three-point lighting setup with them. Um, I'm able to do that because one of them actually comes with this very cute um, one by half softbox that mounts on the front of the light. The second one behind me, um, I have a have it up high on a light stand um, with a grid that it comes with. It's giving me this really nice rim light. And for my fill, for this side of my face, I have the window open um, in front of me. I could shut that um, and you'll see what it does. See, without any ambient at all, um, I'm getting a much uh, more contrasty, uh, higher ratio um, image. But this isn't usually what I go for. Um, and since I only have two lights, I'm just gonna use ambient to fill in. It's also gonna give me a little bit of up light, uh, make my face a little softer. The build quality on these is pretty great for such a small unit. Uh, they're attached by the side uh, of the unit to a yoke that lets them um, rotate and tilt 360 degrees, which is really clever. They're dimmable. Um, sort of, I would say 10% to 100%. They don't go all the way down to one and 2%, um, but you're really not gonna use them at that level. The ones I got were single color daylight. Um, so they're not dual color. You can't shift the chip itself into tungsten, but they do come with little uh, diffusion shields uh, in different colors. So you can shift to tungsten in that way. Uh, it also comes with a blue if you wanna do um, orange and teal effect by tilting your background blue. And it also comes with a CTS, a color temperature straw um, filter. The two light kit um, comes in a Pelican style SKB briefcase, uh, which is super professional and it's very convenient to sort of throw in your car or the truck um, if you think you're going to need it. The way I probably see myself using these lights is just taking the accessories that I want um, and putting them inside my camera bag. So uh, I have access to two more um, really bright Fresnels that I can use to put pockets of light on my set or like I said, um, do a really simple three-point lighting setup um, in a way that's really compact and transportable. And it also comes with something from stills photography called a snoot um, that allows you to get the uh, the light in a very small uh, pocket. And it even comes with a grid on top of that if you just want that very small pinpoint um, light on someone's face or an object in the distance. This is really, actually, there are a lot of much more expensive lights that don't come with um, nearly this many accessories. So the single pocket Canon Mini is under $200. It's 195 and it's 150 watt for now. Um, there are a couple of different ways you can use it. Like I said, I have a softbox on this one. If I take that off, uh, you'll see it has a lot more punch. Um, the shadow is a little bit harsher. But like I said, I got the two light kit that comes with dual fixtures, the snoots, the mounts, the diffusion. It also includes batteries and two power adapters so that you can plug both lights into the wall if you, for instance, were doing a you know, multi-hour interview and you didn't want to worry about the power draw. I see two main uses that the uh, Pocket Cannon Mini is perfect for. The first one is off the grid and super mobile filmmaking. So um, you can take these lights and batteries to pretty much anywhere on the planet. They'll fit in a, a very small um, footprint and you'll always be able to do a really professional looking three light setup by using um, the key, ambient and a backlight. The second main use is to have them as another sort of Swiss army knife light in your basic lighting setup so that you can always have that extra versatile illumination when you need it. Like I said, if you're doing a background illumination or you wanna create a halo around someone's head or if you wanna spot out um, some particular thing or add an eye light, these lights are 
very bright, very versatile, um, can be used in, in a soft or a hard way, um, either flooded or spotted, and they take up almost no room in your camera bag. There's almost no disincentive to carry them to your shoots um, and just have an extra tool in your toolkit um, for when you wanna add an extra touch. That is the Pocket Canon Mini from IntelliTech. Like I said, the, the single light is $195. The two light kit that I have that comes with the case with all the accessories uh, is 528. They also sell a three light kit, which of course comes with its own case um, and is perfect for uh, doing a three point lighting if you can't use ambient. That's around 750. Thanks very much for watching guys. Um, leave your questions in the comments. Of course, as always, look at the links in the description and I will see you next time.